<laughs> hey, Sierra, what is the main purpose of the respiratory system? Well, Reagan, the human respiratory system is a series of organs that are responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. Wow! Insightful. All right. So, guys, I was just wondering, Shelby, you might know this. How is homeostasis involved in the respiratory system? Well, homeostasis is maintained by the respiratory system in two ways. Gas exchange and regulation of blood pH. Gas exchange is performed by the lungs by eliminating carbon dioxide, a waste product given off by the cellular respir respiration. Wow! That's insightful! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, progress report on. Ooh, don't mention that word. I don't this. Like this. Okay. So, I have a question for y'all. Hey, Jonathan, Bailey, do y'all know how transport is involved in the respiratory system? No? Through breathing. I, I, I know. Sierra I, I do. Uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide are transported between tissue cells in the lungs through the blood. The quantity transported is determined by the heart rate. The heart rate is determined by, uh, you know, response to overall body requirements. Wow. Uh -huh. You're so intelligent. Hey, you're so smart. Insightful. Shelby. Yes. You might know. Um, the functions of each of the major organs of the respiratory system. Well, Reagan, the lungs take in oxygen, which the body cells need to live and carry out their normal functions. They also get rid of carbon dioxide, a waste product of the cells. The lungs are a pair of cone-shaped organs made up of spongy, pinkish-gray tissue. The mouth, also known as the oral cavity, is the secondary external opening for the respiratory tract. Most normal breathing takes place through the nasal cavity, but the oral cavity can be used to supplement or replace the nasal cavity's functions when needed. The nose is the primary opening for the respiratory system, made of bone, muscle, and cartilage. The trachea, or windpipe, is a five inch long tube made of C-shaped hyaline cartilage rings, lined with pseudos Pseudostatrified, silicated, columnar epithelium. The trachea connects the larynx to the bronchi and allows air to pass through the neck and into the thorax. Great! I know! So, Sierra, do you know any interesting facts about the respiratory system? Well, Reagan, I just so happen to know that whenever you breathe in or inhale, your diaphragm contracts and moves downwards in your stomach, expanding your lungs and your chest cavity to allow for more air to come in. And when you exhale, <laughs> the opposite happens and your diaphragm goes up and forces the air out of your mouth. Wow, that's great! Science. Hey, Reagan. Word lung originates from 13th century European language. It means light, which refers to the weight of the organ when considering its size. Because there's so much air in there, and air is light. Duh. Just like these friggin' weights. Huh. Open iron. Huh. I was taking a stroll <laughs> during the life of Reagan. Uh, Was that a yawn? Yes. Are you tired? No. Yawning is actually a result of your body not taking enough oxygen from the air. Nah, man, you're tired. Don't tell me what I am. Hey, Reagan. Did you know that the left lung is slightly smaller than the right lung? Because you gotta make room for that big old heart. Most people do not even realize it, but they are breathing incorrectly. Taking shallow breaths, holding their breaths, Breathing through your mouths only, or breathing through just one nostril. That's bad. So how do you maintain a good respiratory system? Increase your walking speed. Maintain a healthy weight. Avoid smoking and smoker's lungs. 